precision agriculture using drones. I'm Rohit Kale, and this is the drone that we have manufactured. Well, we have made this. Uh, so, what our idea is that we will be doing precision agriculture using these drones. Uh, what we are doing in this is we are mapping a part of land, and then we are processing those images with the GeoTIFF images, and we are getting a 2D map, 3D map, and an NDVI map. So, what we do with this, those maps? So, we basically analyze the data and what kind of yield the farmer gets from the land, and how many crops are healthy how many crops are like need fertilizers and some somewhat kind of search uh, search surveys that we are doing and so this is the main idea of our project and so this is the y6 copter that we have made well these are the 1045 props that we are using and this is the motor these are t, t, t motors 2216 900 kV so we have two motors on one arm we have around three arms because this is a y6 and we have the flight controller as Pixhawk which has a barometer and is a 32 bit microprocessor and a 8 uh, GLONASS 8 GPS for GPS telemetry and we are using a fly sky with XJT so that we get a good range and a reliable reliable range field this gives around 1.5 kilometers of range and okay so the battery that we are using is the 5000 milliamps 30c battery it is a lipo lithium polymer battery and we have a telemetry system over here so that we can wireless wirely wirelessly connect to the uh, drone from anywhere and we can just auto map the situation whenever we need so this is what the description of the copter now as you see that the copter is been plugged in and we have a telemetry over here so telemetry has been connected with the laptop and you can you can control the copter via this geo application this is called as mission planner a pixel has been controlled by mission planner you can go to flight plans you can just zoom in to the location that you are in the copter gps locks in and you can just set path and you can just uh, put an autonomous flight for the 3d 3d or a geo map that you want to make now uh, what you do with the geo mapping so now uh, we have made a plate and we can attach a small cam ca factor camera so as we are using a small factor camera what any you can use any camera that has a check disk function in it so we can even use canon uh, power shots uh, the smaller dc cams that comes or we can use even dslr but as we want to we wanted to decrease the system cost we are using a small factor camera which supports the uh, check disk so the canon camera will be put downwards without a gimbal so that we don't need a gimbal as we do not need any rotation stuff we just need the 90 degree angle downwards and we give a trick from the pixel to the camera so that it clicks images uh, at a particular interval of time and do data logs the system uh, that is the GPS data and the attitude data so that we can compile the data together and form a GOTF image that we require for the software compilation for a 3D map. Hi there, my name is Akshay Kumar. You already talked to Rohit Kalle regarding the idea of precision agriculture using multipurpose drone. I am here to talk to you about the software implementation details. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have created a uh, Python file named NDVI Creator and I am going to run it now. This is the GUI which I have created. Okay, so uh, I am uh, going to import an NIR image which we have captured. Okay, here it is. And now I am going to create, convert it to an NDVI image. As you can see, this most of this image is in green which means this is actually an image of a farm so since most of the image is green is it means that uh, all those plants are uh, having a good rate of photosynthesis uh, you can see a uh, red colored stripe in between the image which is nothing but the soil uh, a strip of land which is uh, which has a low concentration of plants in it but as you can see there is little bit little bit of grass here and there in the, in that concentration you can if i zoom in clearly you can see it okay so this is the ndva image that i have created this we have made this gui which will come as an extended core scope extended scope of this project itself uh,
copter is all set battery is been attached and waiting for the copter to get gps satellite lock so that we can have a gps position hold yes so the telemetry shows we have got gps uh, taking off So as you have seen that the Y6 frame that we have made, the challenges faced in this part were making the mounts for the motor and making the frame in this design. This is kind of a different design and programming the board with Y6 configuration. And this was the hardware, uh, hardware problems that we faced. So the completion status of this project is like around 95% we are about to we have already compiled the data we have captured the data and compiled the data and we have received the outputs uh, which we will be attaching if required well uh, this is the status of the project right now and we are further thinking of uh, changing the frame with the carbon fiber uh, material and making the weight lighter and improving the efficiency of the copter. So the implementation cost for the project has reached around 60,000 with the motors, ESC, uh, the PIXOC and the trans radio transmitter that we are using. So we can also reduce the cost by taking cheaper parts but those are more, uh, these parts that we have chosen are more reliable and the companies are more trusted in the scenario over here. So as you know that agriculture is the backbone of Indian economy, uh, what we have proposed over here is precision agriculture. So what I, I feel that our project should be selected because the traditional systems, we have replaced the traditional systems with a cheaper solution over here. And we are doing all, we are neglecting all the sensors and using image processing for the same, pro, for the same process that are being done with the heavy duty and a higher cost uh, sensors. So what we have over here is a cheaper solution for precision farming which will be implemented in the near future. Also the results that we have obtained from this, uh, this are equivalently equivalent to the, uh, to the traditionally used uh, high, high process software. So what we have developed and what already exists is, is, alike, is alike but at a cheaper cost.